Hi, this is Chris Nell, every day BBA. In this video, we're doing the Macro Monday Challenge, which is basically search a string and then categorize it. Now, um, what that looked like is you would come in here and you type text. You type in text, so I type in they purchased the hardware or they purchased hardware, and the code would go in and say, wait a sec, we have a change event here, and that is hardware. And it would classify it as basically putting that right there. So that's the Macro Monday challenge. How Macro Monday works is I post a video on Monday. It's a challenge. It's basically to get your skills going, try something new in VBA, automate a little piece of your world, and then I post a solution on Friday. So that's how it works. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our alt. Um, we're going to open up our Visual Basic Editor. We do that by uh, hitting Alt F11. Now, this is a change event. Now, typically what we would come in here, if, if we were doing a macro that was that was module based or recorded one, it would actually come in here, you would add a module and you put your code in there. Now, this is event based and all that means is Excel is going to do something and so when it does something, we want to run some code. And so that's what we're doing here. So we're going to do that on the sheet and you can do this on your sheet or on the workbook. Um, those are where you can do these change events and the easiest way to do this is just to select worksheet in your drop down and then we're going to do this one actually happens to be a change so you'll notice here you can do you can actually do something on a change right like if, if you just change the selection you can run some code some of those uh, don't totally make sense to me um, they're just not that practical um, but some of them like do double click um, activate some of those other items really do make a lot of sense so the first thing we need to do um, you'll see you've got target here and that target is basically what it's going to pass into this code and that target is going to be the range that you change right so we're going to come in here and we're going to go if um, target dot row or sorry dot column equals one then we're going to execute our code now what does that mean well we don't want to we don't want to make changes if we make a change in column eight or column seven we really want it in just column a which is column one now column B is 2, C is 3, etc. and it just goes down the line. The next thing we need to do is we need to basically figure out does this text, and I'm going to hard code the text, there's lots of ways to do this, but I'm going to hard code it just for simplicity's sake. Does that text, is it included in, in, the, um, in the cell that you just changed? So you're going to do another if statement. So we've got a couple if statements going on here. So we're going to go if, and the function we're going to use is instr, which is, stands for instring. Um, that start, it basically says where do we want to start in the string. Most of the time you're going to want to start on it, at character one. Um, so if you look over here, you've got they purchased. T is character one. Um, H would be character two, etc. And so we're going to go target dot value. Okay. And we're going to go, and I'm just going to type in hardware. is greater than zero. Um, and really what insert returns is I'm going to show you here real quick. So let's let me just show you really quick what this looks like in the immediate window. Let me grab this out. So this is A10 and I'm going to go like this and I'm actually going to add a piece to this as well. So if I come in here and I click what is that It's asking for target value. I want a range here. This needs to be range. A10. It's like, wait a sec, I don't know what target value is. Okay, so I'm going to click this and it's actually going to give me zero. Now, the reason it gives me zero, not because that doesn't exist in there, but because I need to make this uppercase. So let's go UCase, Love and Life here, UCase, UCase, and what that does is that makes it turns everything into uppercase. Um, I highly recommend that you anytime you're doing messing with strings you want to make them either uppercase or lowercase. It will make your life significantly easier. Now this says that hardware actually starts on the 16th character which is exactly what we want. So we're going to say if this is equal to hardware then we're going to go cells because we're on the worksheet and we need to know where that uh, target row was. So it's going to be target 
dot row, comma, and we know that we want hardware in one, two, three, and column four. Um, that's where we want it, and we're just going to go equals hardware. And I'm not going to capitalize in this case. And we're going to go end if, and then we're going to do it again. We're basically going to do this exact same thing. Um, it's always easy when you're duplicating stuff because you just come in and you copy paste and everybody's happy. So this is going to be instead of hardware, it's going to be software. And then this is going to be software. Now every time uh, when you copy stuff like this, you just want to make sure that you check all your variables, right? Uh, I've done this, I've been coding really long, long stuff and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, what, my code's all wrong. And you realize that you just copied this and it had a four and a four and it was just writing over it, writing it over itself. So that actually should complete this whole, whole set of code. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's just go ahead and give it a test. Um, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add a space. Well, first of all, we're going to delete these. I'm just going to add a space here. Oh, works like a charm. So let's go ahead and just walk through this um, just so that you can kind of see what it does. So we're going to hit Alt F11. And so we're going to type in they purchase hardware and add a space. Now you'll notice that if I highlight over this, the target column equals one. That's correct. Um, this instr is it we know that it's hardware, so we know that it's gonna place it. Now target road equals 10. That's perfect, and it loaded it. Now let me just show you something really quick. Um, I'm gonna hit F5. Um, we're gonna walk through that just one more time. I'm gonna type in software. Now you have to make sure you spell stuff right. Um, it is awesome. Because this isn't gonna just pick up everything. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. And we're going to the target column equals one. It's going to make that change. Um, it's looking for software. So it found it. It's going to put that in column five. Now watch and see what it does. When I hit F8, it's going to start back to the top. Now the reason it does that is because you end up you end up making that change and Excel's like, oh, we made another change, and it's going to actually have to process this whole thing. So this can actually be quite a pain when you're learning it. And you'll notice that it went to the end, and then it went back to um, that last row that we're on. They call that being, that's called being recursive. Um, can be a major pain, which is why you want to put in that target column in there. Um, anyway, that is your solution to the Macro Monday challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like this code, and have a great day.